a chromosome which is composed of two sister chromatid is known as duplicated chromosome is it clear so this is a duplicated chromosome okay duplicated chromosome will always have two molecules of dna the replicated dna theek hai what is the meaning again i have i am been repeat I, i hope it is clear to you that means this is one dna this one is composed of one dna okay and the replicated one here this one is composed of the other dna okay that means this is there are two one dna is making one chromatid the other dna is making other chromatid still attached at the centromere that is why we call this chromosome as duplicated chromosome so in the exam if it comes that label a chromosome the draw and label a chromosome duplicated chromosome this diagram of course you will not be drawing the dna of course just to make you understand i have uh, drawn the chromatid centromere is it all right now what will we label here labeling is important we write spindle fibers label as many as possible asterays centriole this whole thing is a chromosome this whole thing is a chromosome so you can label it as chromosome or if you are labeling it as chromatid that is also correct if you are labeling it as chromatid because if you are saying it is a chromosome it's fine it is a part of this is a chromosome and if you are labeling it as chromatid that is also fine all right and here this one you will mark as centromere these are labelings we have not done in prophase because uh, chromosome was not that clear that is why we uh, stick to this so this is what is metaphase now what are the characteristic features of metaphase what are the characteristic features of metaphase metaphase are it's very you know most prominent one is it what are the characteristic features of metaphase so first centrioles have reached to the opposite poles have reached to the opposite poles take care chromosomes are arranged on equatorial plane if draw and label a cell undergoing metaphase this one okay label draw and label both are there all right if uh, they ask you why do you think so that it is metaphase these are the reasons all right okay so this one should be must be written chromosomes are arranged on equatorial plane because um, centrioles on opposite located on opposite poles present on opposite poles you will find in anaphase as well so this one is must is it clear um, men try to mention the nuclear changes as this is a part of karyokinesis next metaphase comes anaphase and here again in anaphase i will be discussing early and late because both are little different and any one of the phases you may get so you must not get confused that which one is like it should not be confused with other phases so early and late both i am giving you is it clear so next to metaphase comes anaphase and i am drawing early anaphase now what happens once this attachment has taken place with the uh, centromere the spindle fibers have got attached to the centromere is it uh, anaphase part i am coming later this is the chromosome duplicated chromosome is it all right this is one chromatid you can see this is one chromatid this is the other chromatid all right one spindle is this side the other is this side 
fine i am still on metaphase after this attachment has occurred means of spindle with the kinetochore of centromere the spindle start to contract the contraction in spindle fibers start is it all right and this will this spindle will contract towards this side and this will contract towards this side so the two chromatids were you know superficially attached halke se dono mein attachment tha they were superficially attached and now due to the pull one spindle is pulling from this side and the other sp spindle is pulling from this side due to the pull the two sister chromatids now separate is it all right okay now this wall this this will pull towards this side and here the attachment is very superficial bahut halke se attachment hai yahan pe is it all right so what will happen this will pull one of the chromatid towards itself and this will pull the other part of the chromatid towards itself so sister chromatid separate and they start moving towards opposite pole now this is a spindle fiber where is it attached to a, on the centromere i'm showing the centromere like this is it clear it is pulling the centromere it is not pulling the chromatid it is not pulling the chromatid it is pulling the centromere so the centromere is pulled first and the chromatid follows like this is it clear and in this case this is the spindle fiber i'll just explain it again how do means uh, how, how the children have got a tendency to draw it in a wrong way now this one is being pulled which part is being pulled the centromere theek hai so this is the centromere is it clear this centromere is pulled but the chromatids are not pulled so the chromatids are so centromere is pulled first and the chromatid follows if you draw the structure like this this goes wrong if you draw it like this it goes wrong what does it show it shows that these are being pulled it is this one shows that the chromatids are being pulled whichever part is pulled that will come first and the one which is not pulled that will be that will follow is it clear so this one cannot come first this one should come first so i come back to the diagram again now see what happens here anaphase early anaphase this is the cell okay this is what is take happening in anaphase these are the two centrioles all right and these are the spindles lot of spindles are there okay here these are the spindles and the spindles have started to contract and these are the asteres spindles and asters okay the spindles have started to contract is it clear and the spindle due to contraction the spindle is also breaking up now this chromosome which were together chromatid fiber just now i had explained due to the contraction one part of the sister chromatid is pulled this side and the other part of the sister chromatid is pulled this one i am showing you is it clear one part is pulled this side okay and the other part is pulled this side is it clear okay one more this one all it happens with all is it clear it happens with all one more thing you will remember the number of chromosomes should be maintained i had started with 6 here also 6 the first one has separated second third fourth fifth sixth now if you are shown metaphase with 6 and you are drawing anaphase with 5 you don't get marks keep the number of chromosomes fixed is it clear now this is what is early anaphase what is the characteristic feature of anaphase the spindle fibers develop contraction is it clear which makes the sister chromatid separate due to which the sister chromatid separate and they start to move towards opposite pole is it clear one is moving towards this pole the other has started moving towards this pole how do you draw it wrong this is a wrong diagram is it all right here are the just i'm drawing the sim spindle fibers okay not the centriole and all if you are drawing like this if you are drawing like this this goes wrong this is what is wrong 
I hope you can understand here. It is showing that this part is moving first. This part will only move first if this is pulled. This part is not being pulled. It is the centromere which is pulled. So it should be like this. Is it clear? So take care of this because this is a very common mistake children tend to do. Alright. So this is early anaphase. Let me do with late anaphase. 